Welcome back, fellow knights. It's Apollo here. Hope you guys are doing well, and you know how it goes. Another day, another battle. And of course, we are looking at the new DLC for uh, Rome 2. This is Empire Divided. So we're going to be looking at two Roman factions. So we've got Rome. Uh, so, you know, naturally, we got the Romans. They look really cool. I love this, like, later period, period style. Got some really cool units. It's just... Really fun to see. Now, over here, we're going to be taking on Jackie Fish. And he's the Romans, too, but they're a little bit greener because they're the Gallic Romans. Uh, so, yeah, they're like the northern, like, barbarian mixed Romans. So, pretty cool stuff. Look at that. That's awesome. They look really great. Also, the scenery here looks awesome. The map is a little uh, topsy-turvy, uh, but we agreed to just stay in the center, not to hill, not, not to hill camp or anything like that. Uh, but as we wait, let's go ahead and just go into slow motion here and look at these army comps so we'll start with mine really fast i got about five units of armored archers for my skirmishing force in the secondary line i've got some cohort uh, it's a heavy melee infantry also i've got this hercules unit i'm not sure to pronounce like hercules Her hercules i don't know whatever it's a hercules very heavy melee infantry and then back here i've got more of my elite forces roman legionaries and i have some pra uh, praetorian guard uh for my really my back reserve it's like my old guard basically ready to fight to the last here's more roman legions over here so pretty much the best of the best i've got some uh, praetorian cav and then over on the flanks i've got some spear gladiators this is i'm pretty sure my best spear unit i think i'm not i'm i don't know i i, I don't want to say that for, don't quote me on it but yeah i do have some spear gladiators on both flanks got one over here as well i do have uh more Praetor uh, Praetor Pra praetorian cav and I've got more arch, or actually I have the same amount. I actually have some horse skirmisher or horse archers because I had some leftover money. Now looking at Jackie Fish's army, he's bringing all swordsmen. He's not bringing any skirmishers to the battle, so let's look at his infantry. So he's got some Gallic legionaries, and then back here he's got the Gallic uh, Imperial Guard in the very back. So that's pretty much it. He's that's all he's bringing. Two of those two different. Uh, Two different units, and they look so cool. I love this faction. Just, I love the mix of... Just, it's just awesome. So he's got some cohorts over here. Uh, heavy melee infantry, I think is how you pronounce it. So, yeah, he's got some, uh, about three units on the flank. He does have a lot of cav in the center. Some equite. And he also has his general equite over here. Here he has some chariots, which is going to be really interesting to see in action. He does have two units of... Horse archers, which is already harassing my men. So we'll go ahead and do normal speed here and let the battle progress. We're going to do a lot of slow motion because there's a lot that goes on during this fight. Uh, but yeah, he's going to go ahead and skirmish down my cav. I'm trying my best to compete, but remember, I am outmatched because he has two units. So what I'm doing here is I'm sending over some spears and some leftover archers because I realized he does not have any archers in his main force or like archer infantry. He has archers on horseback, but I can go ahead and uh, sacrifice like two of my archers to kind of kind of help out over on this flank and let the other three archers kind of take on this frontal force. So I'm going to go ahead and start to push up my forces and try to, I'm trying to pair up with his army, making sure our flanks kind of meet. That way he doesn't outflank me or anything like that. So I'm uh, pushing up my troops, getting my archers in range. Now remember, I don't have to go to him. I have archers. He has to come to me, so I don't need to get too aggressive. The only thing that I'm worried about is this flank over here. I'm just like, at this point, it's really unorganized. I'm quickly trying to send troops over to the side. I notice that he's now moving over a lot of cav. That's another thing he has over me. He has a lot more cav. Uh, so I only have two units of, of melee cav. So I'm sending over my cav. They are really good cav, though. So, you know, they're, they're outnumbered, but not outmatched. I'm going to go ahead and leave this cav unit over on this side uh, just to, you know, just in case because I think he still has, yeah, he still has two units of cav in the center. So who knows what he'll do with those cav units. Now I'm going to go ahead and push up my archers. I should be in range here. Yes, I am. So let's go ahead and get a volley here. Fire! Now that we're going to follow the arrows as they hit. Oh, nice. They form like a testudo right in time. That was actually really cool. Uh, the test dude is going to form him in a, a strange formation. And at this point, I was like, you know what? That's fine, Jackie Fish. If you want to go in, te in test dude, I'm going to... Uh, sorry, guys. I'm going to go ahead and push up my archers so they're in range of the next unit and go ahead and harass them. I'm not going to waste my ammo on these uh, Gallic Legionaries. I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and press forward here. Press play. 
So his horse, Archer's still just kind of hanging out. I think he's busy microing over here. Uh, so he's not doing anything quite over here. I'm going to go ahead and push forward because I want to make sure my army stays together. And I want to make sure that my archers protect the flank of my advancing army. I want to get this battle going. So here we go. My archers now should be in range. I'm going to try to get a couple volleys here. You can see that he is charging. There we go. Look at that. Taking a couple hits there. And he actually decides to fall back a little bit. That's fine. That's going to give me some time. I'm going to push forward my my army, my infantry. Uh, just, you know, just to protect my archers. Now he's got his swordsman moving forward. He's got his imperial guard. Fire, man, fire. They're still firing at the back ranks. The imperial guard are pushing forward. What's this? Hold on. Slow motion this. We got a slow mo it. Oh, now we got the Pila being thrown into the battle. And we have a cav charge. Oh, man, going through my infantry. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. I mean, it's my men dying, but that's pretty cool. Uh, thankfully, I do have an extra unit of reserves, and he's going to go ahead and turn the chariots and go down the line here and take out my armored archers. Look at that. Just like cutting off their legs. There we go again. You like those sound effects? Pretty sweet, right? Uh, let's go back to normal speed. I'm now going to try to focus my archers down on these chariots because they're pissing me off. I hate chariots with a passion. I hate them with a passion so much. I just It's the one unit I just absolutely despise. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet. Now he's got some swordsmen kind of you know pushing on the flank. I'm now... Let's do some... It's just so intense. These battles are so quick. I'm now trying to maneuver my wing over here. Have some Roman legionaries to protect my flanks. And we do have a bit of a cab battle. I mixed in my spears with my cav units, um, but actually no, it's mostly just my spears killing his cav. This is great. And then back over here, we got a bit of a just a, a just a, a peel of battle going on. Look at that. Yep. Look at and you can see the back lines are also firing as well. So you can see he's trying to use both ranks here to soften up my fur my front line. But that's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at this fight. I gotta get I I, I gotta get some screenshots. This is so. Hold on. Look at this. Just, it's epic. It's so epic looking. Watching this, these men fight. So cool. I love the organized lines. I mean, this is why we love Total Wars. Let's go back to normal speed, though. There we go. So, let's see. Let's check on those chariots. Here they come again. Chariots are going full speed. He's also sending in his melee cav. He's going after my archers. I'm trying to send up my spearmen to face him. And, oh... They take the brunt of the force. Now I'm sending in my cav as well. Just trying to protect my archers. And I've got, yeah, all my Praetorian cav going in. Horse archers still up here. Putting down suppressing fire. Causing a lot of troubles for my flanking. Or my flank. And then I've got my spear gladiators. They are breaking the sorted infantry. Coming around the flank. I've got to send up extra reinforcements. So I'm going to peel a unit over here from my secondary line. It's a Praetorian guard. I'm going to send them up here. Just, just reinforce this battle going on over on this flank because I cannot fall here now my general is close by he's gonna really just give morale and go in anywhere he can to support the fight um, let's head back over here because the infantry is colliding guys infantry charging in over in the center look at this get them boys get them so a beautiful fight but there's a lot of gaps in the lines also we got infantry and, and cab charging on this flank as well so let's do some slow motion here and let me get a I need to get a sip of water here. It's too intense. I need to like a rag. I'm sweating too much. No, I'm not really sweating. But anyways, it's too cold out. Um, the troops are fighting the good fight on this flank. My Praetorian Cav is really good. So I think they can hold here for a pretty long time against his Equites. Now back here, he is setting in his secondary line. So I'm going to go ahead and push forward my secondary line as well. Try to get them in to support the lines. I should be able to hold for, hold here for uh, some quite some time. But the Romans are in a brutal fight brutal brutal fight he still has some infantry that has not engaged he might try to run through the gap so i'm doing everything to just have units over here to support these gaps also throw in some pila to uh, you know support the infantry already fighting in the great fight in the beautiful fight uh but let me get look at this i love the formation come on men that's pretty cool i wish we could uh, we could get a volley whenever you record this is like a recording problem but you like look to see a, a unit about to throw in a volley or shoot, you know, a volley from their air, from their bows, and you sit and you wait and you watch them, but they never do it until like five minutes later. It's the worst. 
Uh, but here comes a cab charge. It's just horse archers. It's still going to hurt a bit, but it's not that big of a deal. Oh, a lot of his cab dying there. Impressive. Very impressive. My infantry holding this flank against his uh, heavy melee infantry. And he still has a lot of cav over here on this flank as well. So he's going to continue to push that in. The chariots are still alive and well. Causing some ha uh, some issues. Uh, so we got to see what we can do there. I've got really nothing but my general. Which I don't really want to throw my general in that chariot unit. I've got this unit over here of horse archers. They can return and fight. But they're so far away. Here they come. This is big guys. Let me do more slow motion here. So he's breaking in the center. My infantry seems to be a little bit superior to his, which is great. There we go. La oh, nice. Like I got Pila in the face, man. That's awesome. Look at that. Pila, Pila. That's so good. All right, there we go. All right, so his chariots are breaking. This is fantastic. They just can't handle it much longer. I'm going to go ahead and charge in and try to get them off the battlefield, but they just miss them. Oh, we get some of them. Come on, get back up, guys. You're fine. It's just a scratch on the leg. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, those damn chariots. Here we go. So my men are still holding, but I'm holding against so many troops here. Praetorian Guard can only hold on for so long. The epic cab battle going on in the, in the back. And my archers are still hanging on. They're, they're very good in melee. So they're taking on his equites pretty effectively. So I've got to defend these back lines. Even if I'm winning in this front line, if I break in the back, there's it, it doesn't matter if I'm winning in this frontal, uh, frontal fight. So yeah, I'm just keeping some reserves, trying to keep some troops fresh. He's got me someone outflanked. And now we have the general coming in. Jackie Fish is moving in his general. And I'm going to use all my arrows to focus him down. And now I've got my general charging in. So we got a general, the general, in this beautiful fight. This is great. Great battle here. Fantastic. His men are starting to waver. My Praetorian Guard just too much for his heavy melee infantry. Not skilled enough to take on my units. He probably should have used his numbers to outflank me because, you know, he outnumbers me. But a lot of breaking going on here. Fan-freaking-tastic. Now I'm going to throw in my armored archers who have spears. I'm going to get them into the fight, support the battle. Uh, Jackie Fish somehow got some legionaries to break through my lines. Oh, and now they're going to throw in their Pila. They're going to charge in, or the javelins. Uh, I know if you're Portuguese, Pila is like penis or something, but it, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it in Latin, right? So it's just like it's a javelin. Uh, infantry still fighting pretty well. Strength and honor, men. Strength and honor. <laughs> um, I did a little cab charge just to hold on to the center. We are winning on the flank, though. Oh, beautiful. We are winning very effectively on the flank. I love these helmets too. Look at that, the gold trim. That's nice. So we're putting up a pretty solid stand here. It's still really close in the center, but the balance of power is looking pretty good. His general has broken uh, because we had him surrounded. And now my general is going to be free to maneuver and strike wherever he can. We're just going to finish up these troops over here. His legionaries uh, over in the center. I mean, even though his general is broken, it doesn't mean this battle is over. Oh, this man trying to flank around but loses his head for it. Ugh, that's brutal. Oh, man. You know, I recently I accidentally stabbed myself. It's a small cut and it hurt really bad. I was like, can you imagine losing your head? <laughs> like, that's the worst. Uh, but here comes... Another cab charge. I'm just kind of trying to break his men. My troops are starting to waver a little bit here. Here comes... Yes! That was legendary. Nice little charge. Trying to break their will. Trying to break their spirits. Still really close. He's He's got me somewhat surrounded, but I kind of have him surrounded over here. Uh, Rome 2 is kind of acting weird here a little bit. Just like, look how stretched out my lines are. It doesn't matter, though. It kind of matters because less are fighting, but whatever. What can you do? And now my general is free to maneuver around. And I'm going to go ahead and just try to finish off these armies. I, w I did, I, well, basically, I did a hammer and anvil over there. And now I'm going to move over this way and uh, do another hammer and anvil. Going to break these guys once and for all. Or not. Maybe I'm just going to gallop around and give out commands. Yep, there we go. There we go. Jackie Fish's army is breaking. It really, it all, come, it all came down to this flank over here. 
this is flying. Let me do some slow motion. It, it came down here. I was able to kill his general. After killing his general, the, the middle battle was really close. He was winning on one side. I was winning on one side. But I think once I took out his general, I took out all of his cav. I was able to secure the victory in the center and overall achieve victory here. But, yeah. His cav just did not compare. I just, I don't know. He had a lot of cav, but I was able to hold him off with just two units of cav. In, uh, not including my general. So technically I had three units. Well, let's end the replay here and just look at the stats. General getting 100 kills, exactly. And then I've got my cohort getting 222. Who did the best though? Uh, Cav not doing that great actually. Spears, one of them getting 102, the other one getting 10. I think this is the one that charged into the chariots. Uh, horse archers getting 113, that's pretty reasonable. Um, let's see, what else do we have though? Yeah, nothing like over the top. I think 222 is the most. I don't, 270 here by the Praetorian Guard. Uh, over on Jackie Fish's side, let's see. His, I mean, it's a pretty even spread on his side. His horse archer's not doing as well as he as hoped. Uh, his cab not doing as well as he, you know, obviously as hoped at, at, or had hoped. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the battle, guys. Thank you so much for joining uh, today. Uh, this was really fun. This kind of shows off two different Roman factions and how brutal they are. Uh, but yeah, that's that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more epic battles. Thanks, guys, and I will see you next time.